everybody, this is Praxis, and as you can see, I got all the stud walls up yesterday. I was really, really, really happy with it, to be honest. It's, uh, it was a little different than I'd planned, and I really like the way that uh, bending this corner out. I mean, I only lost a couple square feet of space in this closet or bedroom or whatever it's going to be, uh, but uh, very small cost, and what you get from it is coming out of here, you don't have to kind of, uh, you know, kind of... I don't know, steer around corners and things. It's going to be helpful for bringing things into this room. It's going to be helpful for bringing things into this room. And just in general, it's nice when you can do kind of broad arcs because you can see the stairs are right behind you here. And it's nice that you can kind of just do like a sweep uh, to get in and out. Uh, also, I just think it looks really cool. I think it brings a lot more light into this area. It opens up the space. I'm really happy with that. And I wouldn't have done that if I followed the exact plans. Uh, it was something that I kind of like, I was looking at the space, kind of rethinking it, and I think that was time well spent uh, doing that. Uh, as you can see, today I've been boarding these up, and boy is it a pain in the butt. It was kind of tricky putting up the studs with all these angled corners and everything, but <coughs> every single one of these, uh, the angle that I have to put on every one of these boards is a 30 degree angle as they go together. Uh, and as a result, uh, just with all these little uh, intricate cuts here, it takes me, well I get about two and a half runs of boards every hour. So it's kind of slow going, much slower than just doing 90 degree cuts on everything. But I really like it, I think it's worth it. Uh, in terms of the choice of a 30 degree angle, that was actually really an accident. Uh, what it was determined by is actually a story that gets told by these boards right here. There's a little stack of them here, and the reason that those are there is that those boards are the perfect size for the other side of this wall, right in here. Uh, the way that I kind of determined exactly where I wanted to have this point here was that I figured I had 12 foot long boards, and I wanted to make sure that when I was making this wall, I could get two boards, one for this side, one for that side, out of a 12 foot board. So I made this thing, it's not exactly uh, six feet because it, uh, it's a little bit less because this, this side kicks in a little, that side kicks out a little. You know, without getting into the intricacies, I just thought it out ahead of time and by doing so, I get almost no scrap on this whole wall because one 12 foot board does this side and this side with like that much scrap left over. So that was what actually determined this specific angle and I'm glad that I did it that way because if I have this wall one inch longer, I'd only get one board out of every 12 foot board instead of two. So I've uh, cut the cost of my lumber kind of in half. Now, you know, it's not like I would have thrown out that extra, you know, five foot, 11 inches of board. I would have used it for something. But this way, it made it really easy, really convenient, and um, I'm already got all these boards pre-cut for the inside. So it's just a, it's a big saving on time, money, lumber, and everything like that. I'm going to see how much I can get of this done today, uh, and uh, I, this is going to take me the whole day. <laughs> That's it. Thanks for watching.